This conference will now be recorded. Hello, welcome to this brief presentation on the brand new Haas Model 8315 CTFP Breeze Protected Shower. Just to give you an idea of where we're going, we're going to look at the features and benefits of the shower itself. We're going to examine some of the accessory models that are available for purchase with the shower. We're going to look at the various advantages offered by the packaging, by the pricing, and by the positioning of the shower within its competitive landscape. When we look at the, the 8315 CTFP, one of the big things that come to mind are the freeze-proof technology, the, the Legionella prevention, the, the, the lower operating cost, the lower shipping cost, and the versatility of shipper, shipping overall. Um, so as we go through, just keep an eye out for these, for these points. If you're familiar with the Haas product line, then you'll know that we offer the 8317 CTFP line of showers, which are a cable trays freeze protected shower line. And it's worth noting that this new 8315 CTFP line is meant to act as a supplement to those products, not as a replacement. Looking at the similarities, we can see that both the 8315 CTFP and the 8317 CTFP are heat trays, insulated, jacketed showers. They work basically the exact same way. Uh, they're tested down to the same temperature of minus 30 degrees. They're both completely built up in their electrical systems and in their pressurized plumbing. They're both factory tested like you would expect from such products from Haas. They both use the, the Axion eye face wash and shower heads, and they both carry the same CSA certifications. So with this in mind, of course, the, the obvious question becomes, well, why, why do we have both? Why do we need both? And if we look at just the initial differences, we see that the 8315 CTFP is a lower cost unit. It's also easier to ship. And these alone are compelling reasons to offer it. But at the same time, we notice that the 8317 CTFP has more bells and whistles. It has a lot of standard features. Uh, it's fully assembled out of the box effectively and also it has a lot of special configs that have already been set up for it i know the haas engineering team has spent you know the last number of years doing a lot of custom work on the 8317 ctfp so that it works in a lot of different environments and situations kind of unique customer requirements and so forth so for these reasons it really does make sense to, to offer both All right now the 8315 ctfp itself you know, it's, it's the green jacketed unit. It looks a lot like the 8317 CTFP. You can see the, the safety green universal sign right there in the front. It has an inch and a quarter inlet, uh, like most, if not all of our showers do. Uh, you'll see it as we go on that it's actually right in the middle of the unit in the back, rather than top and bottom like the 8317. It uses about 15% less power in cold climates than the 8317 CTFP, so that's kind of a nice perk for operating costs. It uses galvanized steel as well as stainless steel, so that's kind of a, a trade-off, whereas the 8317 CTFP, you're going to get mostly just, just steel. Basically, the whole, the whole plumbing system is steel, I believe, or stainless steel, rather, in the 8317 CTFP. And you'll know that it's, it's equipped with a test tag, like you'd expect. So this is kind of the heart of the unit. You can see kind of the jacketing on the right hand side. You can see the jacketing opened up and what's going on underneath. And really what you're seeing there is the only part of the shower that's pressurized. The, uh, the lower piping that goes to the floor is dry. It's plugged. Uh, water never enters it. The piping above this section that you see here is the shower piping and it only fills with water when you pull that handle and, and actuate the shower. What that does is really minim it really minimizes the, uh, the number of potential leak points. Uh, obviously we test the shower before we ship it anyway, but um, you know, it just kind of cuts down on those possibilities. It minimizes the amount of heat trace that we need to apply to the system itself. Of course, if there's no water, we don't have to heat trace that area. And we, uh, 
we have kind of a reduced potential for, for Legionella to develop. So we know Legionella likes to grow in stagnant water. And in some of these uh, CTFP showers that you see on the market, there'll be a, a large dead leg, especially maybe like on the, the lower section of piping beneath the eyewash. Uh, you'll see a dead leg of water that really the only opportunity it has to move out of the system is if the freeze valve opens up and then water can drain out the bottom. Otherwise, it just sits there. And even if you actuate the eyewash or the shower, that bottom section of, of piping is never going to drain. So with this unit, you can you can flow water through the eyewash in the shower and you've just effectively moved all the water in the system. You can also go ahead and install a recirculation outlet beneath the, uh, the inlet. Uh, we'll get into that in a few minutes. But you can keep water circulating basically through the whole system and the only dead parts are the maybe a couple inches around the valves leading right up to the valves. At any rate, what that what this does is it, it minimizes what we have to build at Haas. So it brings it kind of on par with our 8300, 8309 showers in that we build kind of the central assembly and the rest of the piping is installed in the field. Really what we're looking at here, which reduces our build time, allows us to be more responsive, and it allows us to ship it in a much smaller container. I believe it's a much smaller container than than any competitor product you'll see in the field today. Looking at the shower itself, you can see the brass valve in the picture on the right, and it's a three-way valve. So basically, when you shut the shower back off, all the water that's that's in the, the piping above the valve, just by gravity, will go ahead and drain out that drain elbow you see coming out the back there. It, it runs into some clear drain tubing that that runs down the unit, um, you know, inside the jacketing, and then the, the tubing comes out the very bottom of the jacket. So that whole section there then is dry. Obviously, if there's no water in it, then Legionella can't grow there. And if there's no water in it, it can't freeze. So really we're we're minimizing the the risks associated with a CTFP shower here. Another big feature that we really like is this this black shower handle that you can see, especially on the right there. Um, it's the thing we like about it is it's not going to move, right? Sometimes with a pull rod, uh, let's say you've got chemicals on you, uh, you know, traumatic environment, and you know you run over to you know, the emergency shower. Maybe you've got chemicals in your eyes. You reach out for that pull rod, and you just miss it, and your hand brushes it, and it bounces out of the way, and it starts swinging. It's going to be just that much harder to find it and grab it again and pull it. Whereas with this static handle, it's very positive. You know exactly where it is. You, you can bump it all day and, and it's still gonna be right there. You grab it, you pull it down, just like a pull rod and, and the shower's activated just that easy. Maybe provides a, a couple more seconds right in that initial stage where the victim is getting, is getting that, that comfort, that flush of water. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, of course, like I said, it's it's the it's the Axion MSR shower head. So yeah, we're very pleased overall with the shower system. It's worth noting as well. I wanted to mention that that piping has to fill up with water um, when you pull that handle, but it does so very quickly. It does so in in a second or less. It, it's not a perceptible delay. By any means, the eye wash is—it's the standard Axion eye face wash. It's the same one that's used on the 8317 CTFP, and it drains out the same way. There's a little weep hole in the plumbing beneath the eye wash head, and it just drains out after use. And that keeps the downstream eye wash plumbing dry when it's not being used. The nice thing about this as well, the 8315 CTFP, is you can see it being used 
in these diagrams with an HI loop, with the house integrated tempered water system. It fits into the into the new booths that we're offering, which is a nice perk. Uh, we had some trouble fitting the 8317 CTFPs into our HI equipment before. And one of the advantages there, of course, is that it reduces the need for a space heater. Um, you know, some sometimes in the field you'll you'll have it where the if there's high winds and cold ambient temperature, it'll be blowing the doors open, and there can be a risk actually for the the shower piping to freeze up. But kind of the, the benefit here, of course, is the shower piping regulates itself. The heat trace keeps it warm. Um, of course, you may want a space heater purely for victim comfort, and that's that's certainly understandable. But the the risk of the shower freezing is is less of a less of a concern when the the optional 8315 CTFP is being used. The, the 8315 CTFP, it's a, it's a fairly basic unit uh, designed to, uh, to be inexpensive. That being said, we do offer a, a number of accessory models, which we'll, we'll look at. I wanna point out while we're here though, you can see on the right, this is a picture of the unit being built out in Haas production. And this is that center section, that pressurized section, just before the, the insulation gets installed. You can see the, the plumbing opposite the eyewash plumbing on the right-hand side of the vertical pipe. It's just capped off. And this cap is where a lot of this, a lot of these options will be installed. And they're installed in the field. So I'll, I'll just run through these. For instance, you can you can install a freeze valve if you want one. It installs, like I said, coming out the back there. That's the very bottom of the pressurized section. So it's a standard SP158B valve, just with the appropriate plumbing. You know, you need to to get in there and plumb it directly to the unit. Pretty straightforward. The SP145 mounts in the same way, and that's the drench hose. It uses a standard ball valve handle just because there's there's three valves kind of relatively close proximity. And we wanted to make sure that the actuation of each one was a little bit different. So you have the, the pull handle for the shower, you have the push flag for the eyewash, and you have just a standard ball valve handle for the drench hose. The hose clips to itself, uh, so it's important to make sure that you know, before it's coiled and kind of returned to its place, that there's no water trapped in it that can freeze and block off the drench hose. The SP21 is a, is a plumbing kit for a few different things. The one we're seeing here is for recirc piping. You can see it looks just like a second inlet basically, but if, if you want to recirculate water through the shower, you can do that and you can basically be moving all the water in the system like we were talking about just like you can do with the 8317 CTFP. And that can help uh, help keep it from freezing even more. And it also can help prevent Legionella. The SP21 can also be used, it's a little hard to see from the diagram, but it can also be used to mount both a drench hose and a freeze valve. It comes with a cross and you can, you can build it out so that you can you can use both those options that come off to the sides and you can do all three if you want you can have a drench hose freeze valve and a recirc line or you can have just a drench hose and a recirc line and so forth the scald valve will be the sp157.15 and it installs within the unit uh, just uh, just within the the inlet plumbing there and you can see it within the jacketing there. And it ties into the existing drain plumbing. So it's pretty, it's a pretty clean looking design. Another nice little perk of the 8315 CTFP is it can use a standard foot treadle. That was uh, that was actually a custom product for the 8317 CTFP. Uh, but here we're able to offer just the standard. The standard foot treadle and it works just fine. Uh, just looking at some some feature comparison between the 8317 and the 8315 series. 
Uh, we can see that they all use Axion. Uh, the 8315 CTFP has that middle inlet instead of the top and bottom inlets that you see on existing product. Of course, it has the handle instead of the pull rod for the shower actuation. And as we mentioned earlier, it, it, it's going to use less power at uh, cold temperatures. Looking at some of these other features, uh, like we talked about, um, the 8317 CTFP is going to have the freeze valve, the drench hose, the research plumbing straight out of the box, whereas they're, they're separate options for the 8315 CTFP. Uh, we, we talked about the foot treadle. Uh, it's worth noting that the 8317 CTFP currently has an area light available and the 8315 CTFP does not. So if the customer wants uh, an area light, of course, if you want an area light, then you certainly want to go in the direction of the 8317 CTFP. However, we can offer an indicator light for either product and it's actually the exact same indicator light. Uh, alarms are the same for both product, just upstream of the system itself. This is the 9001 EXP. And uh, we will have a, a model, basically there's a proximity switch kit for the 8315 CTFP, wherein you can field install proximity switches. And that's kind of a, a new thing, an exciting thing for us. Obviously, both units will come in 110 or 220 volts. You can see you can get the 8315 CTFP for 110, or you can get the 8315 CTFP 0.220V if you want a 220 volt unit. And that's very similar to what you can get with the 8317 CTFP. It's worth noting, however, if you want a class one div one unit, you will have to go with an 8317 CTFP C1D1. We don't offer a, a counterpart to that in the 8315 series. Obviously all the all the units are going to comply with ANSI's E351.8. They're all going to be good for type 4 or NEMA 4 if you prefer. And then you can see class 1 div 1 versus class 1 div 2 like we talked about. But this is this is a this is a valuable one to us as well. The 8315 CTFP can ship via UPS. Because it's not completely assembled, we ship it in a smaller package, which we'll see in a minute. And it just offers kind of a, a host of, op of options for shipping. There's talk of offering a factory assembled 8315 CTFP, perhaps as a special configuration. Uh, that's kind of in the planning stages right now. We still need to look at that and assess that. All right, so considering the package, you can see on the top right, that's basically what it looks like. Uh, this is a huge change for us. You can see uh, in the bottom right, you can see the, the pallet on the left has two 8317 CTFPs on it. The pallet on the right has nine 8315 CTFPs on it. So a big difference. The other thing too is that the 8317 CTFP, once you put it on a pallet, it becomes too tall to fit into a truck. So it's it's not very convenient. Whereas the 8315, you know, like I said, we can we can ship it via UPS, FedEx, etc., and you know, it's much more versatile. You know, we can be very responsive and in terms of you know shipping overnight, etc. You can see a little comparison of the, the shipping costs on the bottom left there. Just if we're shipping to LA or if we're shipping across the country to New York, there's some substantial savings to be had. D8315. So the trade off, of course, is you get a smaller package, you, you pay less in, in shipping costs, but there's some assembly to do. So it's, it, it's, a, it's a trade off. In terms of pricing, just want to direct your notice to the very bottom of the slide here. Really, we see the 8317 CTFP is $49.99 list price, whereas the list price for the 8315 CTFP is $45.50. For the accessory models, they're very much in keeping with our existing 
accessory models of a similar sort, the freeze valve, and the, the scald valve, and so forth. Pretty similar to what you would expect to see uh, in terms of list pricing on, on that kind of Haas model. For a competitive advantage, I won't belabor this slide because there's a lot of information to be seen on it. But of course, we're offering an eye face wash, whereas some units are just an eye wash. Our drench hose is optional, whereas with with an acorn unit you get it standard. But you know, you, you know a lot of these it's either not available or it's an option that kind of thing. Our freeze protection is is minus thirty. There's there's a couple of units that aren't quite that good. There's a couple of units that that go a bit lower. Our electrical is class one, division two. That's pretty in keeping with everyone else. The the supply is I mean, of course there's all kinds of different supply setups throughout the throughout the industry uh, we use trim seal uh, just a green jacket our, our piping material is stainless steel for the for the pressurized stanchion the other parts of the, the stanchion are galvanized we do carry uh, csa certifications all right just as a recap then uh, we re we really feel like we're offering industry leading freeze proof technology. We're we're minimizing the chances that something's going to freeze, and we're taking care of the uh, the section that that needs to be taken care of. Uh, we really feel like our Legionella prevention is is a cut above the competition in terms of really minimizing that that water volume within within the shower to. Uh, to reduce the possibilities of Legionella, uh, the, the operating costs. Uh, you know, our, our goal was really to, to keep that low by by minimizing the the plumbing that we needed to protect with heat trace. We feel like our, our shipping costs are are, are competitive, right? Um, the uh, the shipping is really going to be Cheaper on the 8315 CTFP than than any other unit on the market, just because of its its small size and the fact that it can it can ship via UPS, it can ship overnight very easily as needed, and so forth. And of course, we're using Axion and we're using that that static shower handle. Right, just kind of an overview of, of why you might want one versus the other. Uh, you may want the 8315 CTFP if if you're concerned about costs, because who isn't, especially these days? If you're in a hurry and you need something right away, you need something overnighted, um, certainly that that's a possibility. Um, if um, if you prefer the shower handle, that's that's kind of a perk. Uh, if you like the extra safety that that kind of provides uh, for the victim, if you're concerned about Legionella or there's not a lot of bells and whistles that you need in the system. Uh, the 8315 is probably going to be a, a good choice. But one, one, one that I skipped over there is if, if, it's, uh, if you're concerned with uh, just the amount of space these things take up on a shelf, then certainly the 8315 is going to be a lot easier in terms of you know, getting a number of them in and putting them on a shelf and storing them there. You're, you're going to take up a lot less room than the 8317 CTFP. On the other hand, the 8317 CTFP might be the way to go if you if you do want the bells and whistles, if if you need those features or those those features are important. Uh, if if you don't want to have to assemble the piping yourself and put the jacketing on, the 8317 CTFP is the way to go. If you need a class one division one unit, um, if you're replacing an existing unit, of course, it's going to be it's going to be very easy to just drop the exact same shower into place or if you need a, a special config that the specials team at Haas has developed for you of course you know the work's already done on it just go ahead and buy it all right and that takes us to the the end of the presentation uh, thanks for thanks for listening and watching uh, if you have further questions or concerns please feel free to reach out to Haas directly